Hi guys, how you doing today? This is a Toshiba laptop that has a virus on it from the Department of Justice. And this is much like the FBI virus that I documented earlier. And I'll put a link up on the screen if you have the FBI virus. This looks almost exactly the same. And um, if you see there, it's locked my computer to avoid legal consequences. And I'm obligated to pay a release fee of $300. They're telling me to get a money pack prepaid in the amount of $300. And they tell me how to submit my payment. And um, funny thing about it is, um, this little window right down here had my webcam image in it earlier. I let the computer sleep while I got the uh, camera out, but my image in fact was in this little box. And you can see some of the violations that might have occurred that are causing me to incur this $300. Well, I can tell you that this this virus is completely bogus, just like the FBI virus. Um, no Justice Department system or FBI would ever ask you for the $300. They would just come arrest you. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of this virus and return your computer back to normal. So hang out with me and we'll get started. Okay, so the first step to remove this virus is to go ahead and unplug the internet from the computer itself. Now, if you have Wi-Fi installed, you want to make sure that you turn off your Wi-Fi box so that your, your computer is not communicating uh, with the internet. And then um, at that time, you can just go ahead and hold the power button and shut down your computer. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and turn the computer back on, find the F8 key, which is located here. And as soon as we turn on the power button, we're going to start tapping the F8 button. We're just tapping along here. Tap, tap. Okay, once you've done that, you'll come up to a screen that looks like this. Now, in the FBI virus, we were simply just to go to the safe mode, but with this particular virus, it does not work. So we are going to choose the first one, which it's on right now. It's repair your computer. That's this top one right here. And then use the enter key on it. Okay, the computer should come up with a system recovery options box and it's just asking me to select my keyboard. I can just use my mouse and go to next after choosing my keyboard layout. Click next. And then what you want to do is go ahead and log on to the account that you have the password on. And I'm going to log on to this account called Dan and there's no password on this so I'm just gonna click OK if you had a password go ahead and enter it here next and then you will come up with this screen here now if you want to do a complete restore you could always use this one here which is uh, a Windows complete restore but for this exercise, I'm just going to show you how to remove the virus to a, before it happened. And we can do the second one, which is the system restore. So you can just use your arrow and pick the system restore here. Click. Now keep in mind that the time will vary on how long this procedure takes. It might take my computer longer or shorter time depending on how big of a hard drive you have and how much stuff is on it. So you just have to be patient and click and wait. 
as soon as something comes up on this one I'll be back okay it took a few minutes after I clicked the system restore button but now I'm at this screen here and it's just telling me a little bit about the uh, system restore and the file setting transfer um, just come down here and select next now this will present you with a calendar now this is Windows Vista and that's what's on this machine if you have Windows 7 your screen may look a little different either way you should end up with a thing that looks like a calendar um, with dates over here to the left side and then a description here on the right side of what the last thing was done what you should do is select a calendar date that was before the time that you had this trouble now um, what you can do is go on through here and just look on through and find one that looks like a safe point to you you're looking for a date that is actually before the trouble started so if your trouble started on a Saturday you're gonna wanna go to a Friday if there's no Friday date then go to the Thursday date and like that so for this computer I'm gonna go ahead and um, choose an earlier date which is here for this one and I think that'll be far enough back and then I'm gonna go ahead and click next down here once I choose that now you'll come up with this screen here it's asking to confirm what volume I would like to change and you should make sure that yours says C colon which is here there's other volumes that are here uh, you don't have to worry about that as long as you have a check mark here in this uh, C colon drive then you're good to go and this is just recapping the time and date that it's going to restore to you can go ahead and click uh, next at this point here right now it's asking you to confirm your restore point um, make sure that your power plug is connected to your laptop if you're using a laptop because if your battery dies during this procedure it can make things a lot worse so make sure that your power is connected to your laptop and then click next and yes now it is working and this does take some time so it does require your patience so as soon as this procedure is finished and my screen has changed I'll be back okay well it finally finished the system restore and there's a message that it was completely successful so um, all it's left to do now is click this button here which says restart and do that now as soon as this machine starts I will be back um, you want to make sure that you do not have the internet plugged in yet okay well the computers just now coming back up from a restart after I turn the calendar back on it all looks very well so far I know it actually took the start bar out of this and all these icons it removed a lot of things and this this looks um, normal again I'm not exactly sure what normal looks like because this is not my computer um, but um, it all appears well at first glance um, so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my my internet back into the computer and if you have Wi-Fi you can go ahead and uh, turn that back on too and your computer should be back to normal and working fine this virus um, should be gone now something you want to do before you um, declare a, 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 you know a success is to go ahead install an antivirus I recommend an antivirus to you on um, on my channel you can look at the link here uh, it's a free antivirus called Microsoft Security Essentials you can look that up I would install that after this is done and go ahead and run a, a full system scan to make sure that all the remnants of this virus are gone and then you should be good um, this should bother you no more now I did get one little message up here that uh, is just saying that my system has been restored 
um, and I can go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and just make sure that the internet and everything's working on this one. So yeah. Okay guys, that's a really good sign. I, I would say that this computer's fixed. I wish you luck with yours. Remember, this is not a destructive virus, but it's a, a nuisance and it definitely tries to extort money from you. And just remember, if the FBI or the Defense Department wants you, they're not going to ask for money, they're just gonna take you. <laughs> so, uh, good luck with yours and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.